All right, what's going on everybody? Dylan here with Espresso Outlet. Today we're gonna to be taking this DS64V apart. Um, it's already clean, but I'm gonna take it apart and show you the steps and how you would take it apart, clean it, and put it back together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by removing both of these. You don't have to, I just do so it's out of the way. Start by removing the bellows. All right, and then here, you're gonna go ahead and just twist and just keep going until it comes off. So I'll show you this piece once it comes off. So here's this piece here. And then this is the bean hopper or the anti-popcorn. It's built into the actual unit uh, and that just snaps right in, but you don't have to take that off. If you wanna clean it, you can. Uh, and then you can just set that to the side. Next, you're gonna go counterclockwise and remove the collar. Make sure your unit is off as well when you're doing this. So here's the collar removed, and you can also set that to the side. Uh, so before you take this off, just take note of where that marker is. So uh, mine's on the top. I'll show you kind of here. So mine has a mark right there. So this mark, I know that it's going to go on the top just so we always know and we're always on the same page. Um, it is a little bit greasy, so if you take this off, this is actually the bearing for your burr carrier, uh, and that's just going to help it spin a little bit. You're going to notice your hands are super greasy, um, and this has a lot of grease on it, but here is the top part of your burr, the DLC burr, which is diamond-like coating, and then here you have the rest of your bottom burr. So this is how you take it apart, super easy take apart. Uh, here you would now... Uh, clean it. You could even turn it on um, and then you can run it just to run extra beans, uh, whatever that's remaining in there. Just be careful you don't touch that while it's running. And then to put it back on, you're going to, again, take the part that has this black marker on it. Set them in nice and snug. Make sure it's all the way down. So see how there's still give to it? There we go, now we're getting it set down. Okay, perfect. So now it's in, it's not moving at all when I push it, which you can see there. Then you're gonna go ahead and get your collar. Doesn't matter where you start, it always locks back into place. You just gotta make sure it's on there nicely. Don't rush it. You don't wanna cross thread anything. Just nice and neat. Sometimes it might take a second, so now I know it's on there really nicely. So we're just gonna keep spinning it, spinning it, spinning it, until you can't spin it anymore, it's completely locked. Uh, when it locks completely, your zero should be right in the middle of your chute. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the top part, so just make sure you get it in nice. Uh, don't cross thread it, if it's not going, don't force it. Take it off and restart. So this, you should be able to come all the way down to about zero. So this is where it completely stops. But if I go to zero, so I'll actually move it to, I'll move this top part to about 10. So I'm just gonna slide this cup underneath, put this bellows back on. So if you notice, when I turn it on and I turn this to zero, past zero just a little bit, it'll start to hear the burrs touching. So there's the chirping and you know you are zeroed out. So I always just put it to 15. That's my starting point to pretty much everything. Uh, last part is you can take this chute off. So I'll come down here. The chute just pulls straight off, comes into two pieces here, which are magnetic. You can put those two pieces on like so and pop that back in. So this is how you disassemble, clean and uh, put back together, reassemble the DF64V. Thank you so much for watching.